are, where they've moved to, who's climbing up in the world rankings. So Masataka Morizono to start off with the serve. What a play, hangs in there for the edge ball right down the line. Morizono and Oshima very aggressive. We saw yesterday Oshima from behind the table as the power with the backhands to finish a point. Love two. Heavy underspin on that serve. Ho Kwon Kit, not enough lift. One, two. Forehand flip, the pen hold game can be so strong in doubles. Xu Xin demonstrating that quite well as well. We do have the righty lefty combo on both sides. Ooh, Three, crawls one. over. Break for the Japanese pairing. Saved, Ho Kwon Kit keeps it deep on the table. You see this with a lot of players when they're out of position sometimes, their balls hit well and wide. Sometimes just retrieving it with spin deep on the table is enough. Short game, Wang Chun Ting the first to break but can't put down the attack. Four to two at the first towel break, Japan leading. I'm curious, testing out all these different pairs, there's a lot of preparation and investment going into Tokyo 2020, which, I mean, there's so much before then to look out for, but it's gonna be magical. After all, the culture for table tennis in Japan is so rich. Celebrities all over, Jun Mizutani let me know that him and many members of the team, men and women, can't go outside without getting stopped left and right. Oh, burn. Morizono holds up for a second, thinks, well, if I run too fast to the wide forehand, he'll hit it behind me to the backhand side, and he's probably right. Wang Chun Ting, racket face open there, just guides the ball up and out. Five, four. Very aggressive again in near the table this time. Oshima and Morizono are so spectacular to watch because they fight so hard for every ball. And they really never give up. That's what makes it so exciting. Even the women's doubles final we saw earlier, the players were running all over the court, keeping it in play for several more shots. The rallies just kept going. Pace from Ho Kwon Kit. Chinese fans, I believe, cheering on the Shanggang run. The Hong Kong players. So for me, Ho Kwon Kit, especially in doubles, is quite an underrated player. He's on his way up in the world rankings. He's sort of next of kin, next in line, it seems. The next generation for Hong Kong. But for a while, that's what Wang Chun Ting was as well. Gao Ning from Singapore is not the person I'm referring to. For some reason, his name came to mind. Tong Peng was the leader from Hong Kong. Saw him at the Olympic qualification tournament in Hong Kong 2016. Bit injured. It's a very tough ball. Smart play there for that deep cross court shot. Wang Chun Ting trying for the backhand from behind Ho Kwon Kit. When someone goes that bold, if they make the shot, everybody will lose their mind. Out of position, look right up near the net, decides not to back off the table, stands in the perfect place, hits the ball flat back. I mean, even blocking that with the little bit of topspin would have been a higher percentage shot, but still would have been extremely low percentage. Ah! Six, nine. 
The fire comes out. From the start of the match, it's been there. The Morizono and Oshima really just let it show out here. I love that. They leave everything on the table. So close to the back edge of the table, Oshima figures I'll play it off the bounce just in case. He catches the edge, whatever, but it does not. It is four game points for the second seeds. Oh, wow. Hoquan Kit reads it perfectly, plays the angle quickly. Again, underrated in my opinion as a doubles player. I've seen Hoquan Kit for some time partnering up with others as well. And the power falling near the ground gets his left hand down. Yuya Oshima finishes it 11 points to seven in the first game. Goes to the Japanese pairing. Hong Kong duo in the corner will have to come back and see what they can do in game number two coming up right after this. The ball. Back for game number two. The Japanese pair. Masataka doing his boogie out there, getting ready. Quick on a guy, Shimas. Yuya Oshima. Stretching out the elbow, fanning the face on the receive. Oh, smart play. Ho Kwon Kit, very smooth. Could have gone for power the other way, but went for placement. And it pays off. Morizono moving a little early and has to pay for it. Wow, the hand down and the racket behind the head. Same shot. Athleticism. Morizono, very agile. Look at that. How do you not hurt yourself while doing that? Good placement here. Japanese pair finding the out of position moment. Doubles has a lot to do with that at this level. Tactically, how can you shut down the opponent's game? Get them running into each other. After all, they do have to get out between each shot. Oh. Pros and cons, you can think of it as well. I don't have to hit every shot. I've got time to get out of the way, but getting back into position, not always so easy. Five, two, three. First towel break of the game. And it's tied up at three apiece. Again, this is a best of seven match. So I'm curious, for me, the Hong Kong players have been quite impressive. After all, beating Jin Ueda and Maharu Yoshimura. Quite impressive, I think they were the top seeds. Heavy kick, Wang Chun Ting's loop jumps up into the edge of the racket. Yes, Jin Ueda and Maharu Yoshimura were the top seeds. So the fourth seeds here in red from Hong Kong. Knocking out the top seeds along the way. Again, it's only the top eight teams on the world tour that qualify. 
Winning two matches gets you into the final. Five, six, three. Beautiful play, Morizono off the bounce, creates the angle, that's the way to do it. Now with that cross court shot, he's got a little bit higher percentage to play it low to the net. Oh, gets burned, turns the corner and pays for it. Such a quick reaction shot right there. A very steady backhand. This is one thing that I constantly say about Wang Chun Ting is that he's quite confident to take that backhand shot. Had a chance to feel the backhand to try and block a few. He hits them deep to the corner. Keeps a little bit of side spin on the ball so it's bending away wider to that cross corner shot. Nine, four. Chiquita off the table. Morizono getting the bottom of the shoes ready. Ready to move fast, grip the floor. Oh man, Ho Kwon Kit goes for a chop, a side spinny chop after all that. Chun Ting working so hard to keep it in play. Five, ten. So five game points for the Hong Kong pair to tie it up at one game apiece. Not yet, Oshima with the strong forehand flip over the table. Oh, bullets back and forth, and it's Ho Kwon Kit to finish it. 11 points to six. It's tied up at one game apiece, and we'll see who takes the lead. Game number three coming up right after this. Back for game number three. It's tied up at one game apiece. The Japanese pairing on the near side of the table, Yuya Oshima and Masataka Morizono. Morizono will start here with the serve after the last game was won by Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting. Most dominant game yet. The Hong Kong pair outscoring the Japanese by one point so far. Back edge of the table. Little fortune there for the Hong Kong duo. play some fast footwork from Morizono but Ho Kwon Kit on the run chases it down and plays it to the short side of the table as he sees Yuya Oshima set up in the backhand court Ho Kwon Kit's forehand flip has been a crucial ingredient right now to the success in game number two and even the score in game number one for many of the points that they won he's been solid over the table Soft flip, nice change of pace. Wang Chun Ting with that wrist, so versatile. Not a point dropped yet 
the Hong Kong pair. Every once in a while, Ho Kwon Kit will miss a shot. He is human after all. I don't think that should deter him from taking that shot, though. Quality receive a little bit lower in near the net. Flip game still, Wong Chun Ting. Both sides have it. Both players on the Hong Kong team are using it effectively right now. First tile break of the game, and it's 5-1 to one for the Hong Kong pair. Again, the rich history with Masataka Morizono and Yuya Oshima. This would be quite an upset for the Hong Kong pair to pull off, especially considering they've only been playing together for a year. At least three years for Morizono and Oshima. Five, two. Fast long serve, maybe it was a let. Waiting to see what happened there. Let, 5-2. There the call was, Gerd Selig confirming it. Making sure the players agreed first. Ah! Oh, can't run that one down, right back down the line. Oshima, very good sense for the court. Good sense of where the opponents are. Watch this one more time. Has to jump to get some extra power on it. Plays it way out in front. Again, the physicality of these two, Oshima and Morizono. Speaks for itself. Touching the ground again on the counter loop. Serious power. These are two guys giving it their all every single shot. Serve comes long, but still no problem. The Japanese pair recover in the rally. The counter loops, they're quite confident. As long as they can get Wang Chun Ting and Ho Kwon Kit way behind the table, they're going to have less of a problem. They're fast, they're agile, and they're comfortable with that game. It's when they're over the table, the Hong Kong pair is stealing a lot of points. For example, Ho Kwon Kit, that flexible wrist, Gumby like out there, comes in over the table. And it's so important to know where the opponents are when you take that flip. Earlier stages, tournament players are just going to try to play that for power, but the specificity, it's what Timo Bull talked about that made him just as good maybe now, 2017, as he was in 2005. Ah! Oh. Second towel break of the game. Tied right back up. The lead has been recovered by Morizono and Oshima. So as they towel off, Unique opportunity for the Hong Kong players. Again, very exciting to be here in Astana, Kazakhstan. The fans have been outstanding. Just the nicest, warmest people. Maybe that's how they survive in this cold, crisp environment. But it's beautiful outside. It's a uh, snowy holiday season. It does not come down. He runs out of screen. Oshma could have put his head through a barrier in that rally. The fact that the one before even came down, you saw Lu Guodong on his feet there. Respect for the players for fighting so hard to keep the ball in play. You can understand the frustration. It's really fun to watch people be themselves. Masataka Morizono very much himself when he plays. Plays like nobody's watching, even though the whole world is. Nice placement, the parallel. A chole and then the apology. Not sure what it was for. Sometimes again, subtle contact near the edge of the racket. See one more time. All right, he was looking in the wrong place, I think. Once again, down the line, Wang Chun Ting is using that wrist so effectively. Said it once, 
at least once. I've said it many times, I'll say it again. This pen hold grip, while it's going out of fashion in many ways, still does give you more flexibility in the wrist. Four game points for Hong Kong. It will not come down. I'll watch it all the way just in case. But 11 to 6, Ho Kwang Kit and Wang Chun Ting take a 2 to 1 lead. And game number four will be coming up. Stay right here. Back for game number four, the Hong Kong duo. The Cowboys from Kowloon. I don't know if they're from Kowloon, but they are from Hong Kong. They're leading two to one. Wang Chun Ting with the serve. the replay here, the punch on one foot, hooking side spin, inside out forehand after another, and finally it's Oshima who can't hit the shot. Lu Guodong on his feet, the standing ovation. Encore, encore, give us another. One, oh. And it's the calm after the storm. Spectacular point and then a short one to follow. Little time to rest, catch their breath. Me too. Flip again, Oshima gets up over the table, extends himself, he's not especially tall, but he can make up for it with fast footwork and confident play while he's in the air, he makes that shot to the deep corner. Falling to the ground once again. In the highlights, we've already got one, I'm pretty sure with Masataka falling to his back and winning a point. Good recovery there from Ho Kwon Kit off the netball though. Keeps it in play, doesn't look like a great shot, but still it's awkward, it's tough. And the opponents were far back. First towel break of the game, and they're split once again at three points apiece. This is where it is a best of seven reminder, unusual for doubles, but this is where Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting could really break ahead for a three to one lead that would not be easy to recover. We've seen Oshima and Morizono play some incredible oh. matches, but also lose some match points that they had. Hey. Four, three. Morizono stretching out that arm quickly. Getting a little bit tight there. I don't think I've ever seen a player hit his quads as hard and as often as Morizono on the court. Oh, safe shot from Wang Chun Ting, but Yuya Oshima recognizes it's a slow spinny one, stays in at the table right at the back edge and counters it to the corner for the winner. 
Look at that angle that has to be to the very deepest corner of the table or Ho Kwon Kit's gonna counter it back. Five, old. Five points apiece. I can't believe that Ho Kwon Kit can trip up like that, dance around and get himself composed to make this backhand. Watch his feet on this ball. Doubles, triple, up. Oh. Wow, that was like tap dancing to get in and still he's got the backhand flip. Bring out those shiny shoes. Oh, service error on the reverse pendulum and it's a two point lead for Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting. The pressure is becoming very real right now. Table. Oshima. Morizono keeping the opponents back, finding the middle of Ho Kwang Kit and Wang Chun Ting. Spinny opening, but no problem. Wang Chun Ting on top of the bounce gets the racket up high, drives it back aggressively. It's probably the loudest chole I've heard from Wang Chun Ting. Yuya Oshima practicing his stroke there, trying to stay on top of the bounce. Again, two very experienced coaches in the corner. Oh! Three-point lead now. If the Japanese pair wants to take the title, right about now would be a great time to come back. Oh, the edge of the table, Ho Kwon Kit, a little break there. Four game points for a three to one lead. Oh, this one doesn't climb over the backhand fadeaway. Ho Kwon Kit is falling back, but still manages to get Decent power, not enough to get back over the net though. At least not with that trajectory. One game point saved. Three more to go. Solid flip. So two game points saved and two more to go. Sort of curious, we could see a timeout. Doesn't look like we're going to here. It is a towel break after all. Timeout. Oh, it does. Wow. If anyone wants to know what the lottery ticket numbers are for today, just message me. I'll send those over right away. Your future, if you really want to know, it could be dark. But I think that's up to you. 47 seconds left there. They're going to talk it out in the corner. Hong Kong, Ho Kwan Kit, Wang Chun Ting want to take advantage of these next two points. Okay, now, as I often say, my Japanese is far from fluent, but if I had to guess on body language and just a few words that stood out, it seemed like there was a lot of talk about positioning getting them to come in, move across the middle. Again, they are a right-handed, left-handed pair. So if you can force one of them wide to the forehand, that means they're gonna be in the other one's space and forced to take backhands. And as strong as they are on the backhand the side, both Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting, I would say at least twice as confident with their forehand to win a point. Two game points left for the Hong Kong pair. 
patient spin, Morizono exhaling some stress there, and he gets away relieved. That is three game points saved in a row, and the first point out of the timeout for the Hong Kong pair. Morizono getting the shorts and shirt ready, all tucked in. Oh, the big counter, Morizono on top of it, predicts perfectly. He stays right in position, a quality serve, and this is why it's so important to know what your teammate is serving. Morizono has to lunge out to the backhand corner to get on top of that ball. Four in a row for the Japanese pair. It's gonna be tough for the Hong Kong pair to come back if they lose this one. Make that five, Wang Chun Ting's backhand. Smart placement there, the Japanese flag flying in the front row. So after four game points to the Hong Kong duo, it's the Japanese pair out here that have game point. I'm sure they'll be warned to play soon. It looks like they're about to start, and they will. All is good. What a comeback, six in a row for Oshima and Morizono. These are the types of finals we love to see. It's tied up in two games apiece, and we'll be back for game number five right after this. <laughs> Back for game number five, tied up two games apiece. Morizono and Oshima really testing the opponents there. Letting, letting them get, for lack of better terms, four game points. Being like, no, sorry, you want to taste, taste victory for a moment? It's like putting a dollar bill on a string and then pulling it back when you're kids. Dirty, rotten trick. Elbow taped up from Morizono. The footwork's so fast. The angle, as soon as that ball's hit, it looked like a clear winner, but not to Morizono. It just looks like something that's gonna take a few extra steps to get to, so we better start moving. Softer flip has paid off a few times now for Wang Chunting. Really strong variety in his flip game. Love how they look at each other when they win points. It's like they're celebrating together and pumping each other up. Like they can lift each other's spirits through eye contact and chole. Simultaneous choles. Wait for me. Perfect placement right in near the body. Oshima can't get the upper body out of the way for this one. the simultaneous chole on the other side, but the eye contact isn't the same. The synergy, the relationship. Again, Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting have only been together for one year, so they're still getting through the, uh, 
still working out some details in their relationship as doubles partners. Takes time and effort. Doesn't come easy for everybody. Another thing that Ho Kwon Kid has really impressed me with is versatility and placement from the forehand side. Doesn't have to be an easy shot when he gets that swing. His forehand is quite unpredictable. Well placed, risky serve. Now Morizono, as we've seen throughout this tournament, has had some trouble with fast, long serves because he likes to come in over the table. Likes to get that backhand receive in. So the Hong Kong team trying to recover what they had and lost in the last game. Right now in a very encouraging position, but still a ways to go. Very smooth on the flip. Ho Kwon Kit just opens the face of the racket and waits for a moment. Gives the opponents a chance to move first. Eight, Extra spin, Wang Chunting, a little bit hesitant. Slightly softer than usual on that backhand. How does Morizono make this? One that he can reach it, two that he can hit it without hitting the back of Yuya Oshima. Love to see that one again. Second tile break of the game here, and it's a four-point differential. But even times where Morizono's lost the point or not reached the ball, we can see how quickly he can get a good, probably 10 feet across the court, just a moment. Top edge, will it come down? It will not, close. Again, a very rare occasion to hit the edge of the racket, go straight up and come down on the edge of the table. Ding Ning against Lu Shuan. Here comes the pinky serve. This time he makes it, Oshima quick to get down. The boogie style shot turns the corner. So tough to do to support your upper body like that with leg strength. It's like using one of those bendy tripods to try and hold up your cell phone. His upper body is the cell phone in that metaphor. I guess simile, because I said like. Still two point lead for the Hong Kong pair. Another comeback. No timeouts left. It's been used already by the Hong Kong side. They were up seven to two and five of the next six points have gone to the Japanese duo. quality flip here and they hang on to the lead. Ho Kwon Kit delivering. Again, based on world ranking alone, Ho Kwon Kit, a double specialist over delivering. That backhand moves across. Oshima committing. And while it's important to be in position and be mindful of where you are for your teammate, it's also important to make sure you make a quality shot first. Surviving now is always more important than surviving the future. You have to get to the future first. There is only now. What? <laughs> Two big points in a row. Morizono and Oshima at the third towel break of the game have come back. They've managed to tie it up. What looked like a game going to Hong Kong, the start of game number five was very one-sided. The Japanese pair showing up fashionably late for the party. Please. Born to come back to the table. Just to let you know the opening round, Morizono and Oshima beat Tomokazu Harimoto and Yuto Kizukuri in the first round and Jun Jianan and Zhang Hongjie from Taipei in the round after that. 
big point and it earns them game point. They had four in last game, couldn't capitalize on one of them. Will something change here? Getting that first attack and making it quality for placement and power. Let's see. Touch shots in near the net. The soft hands. Wang Chun Ting keeps it short. 11 to 9. It is a 3 to 2 lead. Hong Kong capturing it this time. Game number six. We'll see if Hong Kong wins or if Japan sends it to the seventh. Stay right here. Game six coming right up. Sixth game, one to serve, level. Back for game number six. Left one. And the Japanese pair quite determined here to take back the last game. Again, they worked so hard to come back into it. That backhand from behind the table, Morizono has developed so much power. He's always been aggressive, but I feel like he's got more power now, more juice on his shots than when I saw him play in Japan against Matthias Carlsen a few years back. Two, one. This is one of the many beauties of table tennis and being a spectator. You can be a spectator for four decades, five decades, even more, being a professional athlete. You come and go. But as a spectator, you get to see generations of players rise. Others reach their peak, and then new ones steal the spotlight. Matias Carlson and Masataka Morizono both climbing up in the world rankings and improving their games. For example, that receive, a little bit of side spin, so tough to tell where he's going with that very flexible wrist, not loose, but he works hard for it. First towel break of the game, and they're just within two now, Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting. Tough ball from down below the table. Bit of side and top on it. Takes a nasty bounce. This is typically a good idea. This is sort of where the snake comes from. When you're under the table, the contact you can't see. From a big stroke like that, you can infer what's probably on the ball, but it's not going to be as clean as reading a, a shot where you see the actual contact. Three, five. Right down the line on the step around. Big point here within one now. So much rotation on this ball. 
This is where the marks come from on the top of the table. When someone's trying to dig in for that push, sometimes the follow through of the racket clips the table. That's why a lot of the time you'll see edge tape on different rackets. For example, both of the Hong Kong rackets. Neither of the Japan rackets, interesting. All that footwork pays off. Nippon flag flying in the front. Two of them. Oh, goes the wrong way. He turns early. Ho Kwon Kid has been so versatile in his received game with the angles, it's dangerous to leave early. Masataka has fast enough footwork. He shouldn't have to, really. I mean, that's the only reason you wouldn't stay put. The reason you would leave early is if you had to compensate for slow feet. But at this level of play, that or unless you feel quite confident that you've handcuffed the opponent. Oh, break off the top of the net. One point game once again. Masataka Morizono and Yuya Oshima took two titles this year on the world tour. It was India and Qatar early in the year. Second and third tournaments on the world tour. Very difficult ball, slow and spinny. Morizono changes it up. Wang Chunting under the table with not too much hope, tries to float it up. Sorry. Big backhand to stay in. They keep coming back. It's been the other way around. The Japanese side, by the way, keep coming back. I was trying to say, I was gonna say the Japanese pair has been the one that's recovered the deficit the last two games. But here the Japanese pair is leading. They can't wait. Not like they're excited. They just literally cannot wait. If they lose this game, the match is over. <laughs> Top edge of the racket, Wang Chunting generating more spin than Oshima has accounted for on a few occasions. Oshima's very strong in the counter loop rally, typically. Just goes to show you how spinny Wang Chun Ting's ball is. Look how high that comes off the bounce. It was in a little bit on the table, closer to the net than most loops would be. Gives it more time to be on the rise. Bye. So for the first time in a long time, Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting are out in front. The timeout here for the Jap... No, the Japanese pair. Thought I heard. Okay, there we go. There's no other reason that the Hong Kong players would be walking off to their corner because they already used theirs. I was just impressed with how fast the Hong Kong pair got over to the corner. Sometimes that's a body language thing as well. Mentally, you're still a little bit down, a little bit slow. I don't know if depressed is the perfect term. But not feeling as good as your opponents. で、待ってて、あ、出てると思ったハーフロームチームしなきゃだね。ちょっと本音が書いてるから。そういうに頭がいいかもしれないし、別に狙ってもいいと思うんだけどな、きっと突き出させる側で一本本に抜かれてるけ
little conversation here. We've seen them come back. They saved four game points. Down one, two, but can they do two match points here? <laughs> saved one. Outright service point, heavy underspin, tension building, one match point left. The Hong Kong pair have another game if they need it, but they definitely don't want to wait that long. Looking to take it now, looking to take the title. Oh my goodness, it crawls over the net. Just spelunking down the back side, if that's the proper term. That ball could not have stayed closer to the net, yet won the point for the Japanese pair. But it's what they talked about. If you can't attack, play it short. Don't be afraid. Deuce in game number six. And the Chiquita here. It's a drive and it's deep to the corner. Three in a row for the Japanese pair. And the crowd wants to see this go seven. Regardless of who wins, I am with the crowd on this one. Look at the rotation on the serve, much faster back. That sweeping right foot, the top of the shoe dragging on the floor with the chole from Morizono. And the serve is back. They've been effective in the service game. Complete rainbow, like a 180 flop there, and he makes it this time. He couldn't do it at 8-9, but when it counts at game point, he takes the point for Japan. This is going to the full distance here. Racket over the head, Chole in deep. Game seven coming up right after this. All right, sim it down, sim it down now. It's game seven. Here we go. Grab your seats. Level. Get comfy. The journey has been long, and it's been a fight to the finish. Well, not to the finish yet, but it sure will be. The finish is near. Masataka to start. No! Wong Chun Ting, the angles. Push up, please. Two big shots from the deep corners. Again, the movement out here, the speed. It's not the first time we've seen some spectacular points to start the games. Oh, if they win that point, Masataka laying low, literally. It's the second time we've seen him in near push-up position in two points. We've seen people squat, we've seen people do the Zhang Ji Ke. I don't know if I've seen someone lie down on their chest and get back up into the point for the next shot. Hey! Two, one. That Cho spin, Morizono. Long conversation about it last night when Choing is a personal thing and how it usually isn't, but Morizono clearly not looking at the opponents, turning back to the coach or at least back away from the table, taking it for himself. And by for himself, I mean him and Yuya Oshima. Ooh, no racket in sight. Wang Chun Ting had completely fooled Masataka Morizono. Morizono is playing so well right now. 
I can't think of any weak players on the court. Everybody's been contributing. But for me, a standout, Mori Zono. Again, everybody's contributed a lot of moments for all. Good sharing of the spotlight here. This is what team play is all about, doubles. I mean, technically, it's all about winning. Threes all across the board. It's what the audience could hope for, a close match and a close game in the last game of the match. survives these spinny, ripping shots deep to the corners. Anticipation, they know that both Morizono and Oshima, when deep on the table, are more likely to play the long corners, the cross-court shots. <laughs> Big point here, Oquan Kit. And Wang Chun Ting will switch sides of the table with their opponents with five to three, the advantage. Bit of side spin from Ho Kwang Kit to make it bend, change the timing a bit. And Masataka Morizono sweeps the floor, touches ground with all of his body and is back up like a fighter. Martial arts out here. Leg sweep. Okay, the hand, the leg. For a minute it looked like he almost lied down. I couldn't believe he was back up so quickly. Punching backhand just a bit long. Wang Chun Ting on the chase here. Remember, this is the first year Wang Chun Ting and Ho Kwang Kit. It's been about one year they've been playing together. Fire! Opening Fire. spin shot from Morizono puts them back within one. The breathing, the body language, right now for me favors the Japanese. It could be because they just won the last point. But even still, the breathing and everything we just saw, curious to see how it works out. A little bit tense, exhaling that tension. There's so many different factors in table tennis, but this isn't the first time that observing, you can see when you might favor one side of the table. It's her birthday today, by the way. Some of the names are new arrangements of letters here in Kazakhstan that I'm not familiar with, some of them. Otherwise, I would have said happy birthday to her. I guess I sort of did, I just didn't get the name in there. Tied up at six points apiece. Once again, every three, they're splitting. Three and three, sharing. Tough shot over the table. Morizona works hard to try and steal that attack. It's what Coach Tase Kunihito was talking about, the patient play weight. I don't think there's anything wrong with what Morizono just did, but if it's played even shorter, we'll have to play that short touch shot. And given the chance on the third try, he gets it. It's a little bit of humor there from Morizono in a moment that's got to be quite frustrating. Definitely not the tallest guy. He's the shortest player on court right now. And on his third attempt, got it back. But that just goes to show you how close to the net the ball was. Wow. 
these shots. The camera was even fooled there for a minute. We see Ho Kwon Kit pulling Amori Zono out here. There it is, back up to his feet, Wang Jun Ting hooking. And Yuya Oshima with the quality loop to finish. Just a one point lead still. What, game number four, 10-6. Not something you wanna be thinking about if you're on the court wearing red right now. The points are just spectacular in this match. They're creating such a show and watching how hard they fight. Look at the bend on this ball. Top of the net and just out. Wang Chun Ting already in celebration. Ho Kwang Kit, a little bit more the chill type in his fight. Just his demeanor and conversation and everything else. Ooh, close, but it doesn't come down on the other side of the net. Wang Chun Ting plays a touch shot where he doesn't commit, he doesn't run around the table because if he did, there'd be a gaping hole on the backhand side. Talk about placement on a serve. That's clever. Very clever idea. Short and wide to the forehand. Something similar, who knows? More half long and a big point here. Last game, they had 10-8. And Japan came back. Third towel break of the game and we're wondering while we're watching, who's mentally tougher right now? What is the mental state on both sides? And who will take the title? Here we go. Two championship points. Not yet, back edge of the table. Oshima hanging tight for a big Wang Chun Ting loop. Now Oshima's had trouble in the counter loops with the forehand when Wang Chun Ting opens. But he decides to play it safer here. Stay on top of the bounce. Blocking game. Morizono looking back to check and make sure you're all right at home. Or wherever you are watching. One match point saved. One more to go in the serve is with the advantage side. Oh, a backhand counter from Wong Chun Ting, but it's saved. Fighting ever so hard and staying on top of the high balls. Japan has saved two championship points once again. Sort of the other way around from 2015 in Sujo, but they've saved two game points once again anyway. And the flag's flying proudly and high. Deuce in game number seven. Whether you paid to see this or not, you got your money's worth. And then some. Clearing out the blood vessels here, getting the heart pumping quickly. I'm talking about the audience, by the way. Ah! Serve three in a row. The length. This is serious pressure. They did it in the last game. They did four in a row. Hong Kong looking for some serious guts right now. For some toughness, some mental strength. Match point the other way to the Japanese pair. And they do it four in a row, they take the title! Oh my goodness, what a performance! Hugs of celebration and a tough loss for Wong Chun Ting and Ho Kwon Kit. Despite leading by so much, that has got to be tough. A crushing defeat, but what a performance to steal it from the jaws of their opponents. They were down, but they were never out. 
It's not over until it is over, and now it is over. They can exhale and they can celebrate. Prize money, the title, and more fame in Japan. Again, an ever-growing market in Japan. Players getting more and more popular. Masataka, Morizono, and Yuya Oshima, spectacular out here today, managed to overcome some very challenging deficits, but never was it defeat. Number one, the flex, the bro hug, and they'll be on court for a live interview. Stay right here to hear what the champions have to say. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, what an unbelievable men's doubles final. Give it up for these guys from Japan, Yuya Oshima, Masataka Morizono. Woo! Guys, unbelievable final. Wow. Okay, we think we think this match uh, very difficult because we lose uh, one, two, six, ten behind. But okay, after we change tactic, then we come back. Now we are unbelievably happy. Thanks so much. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Yuya, will you make a party now? Will you celebrate? Yes, a party. A big party or a small party? Big party. A big party. Guys, grand finals, men's doubles champions, Yuya Oshima, Masataka Morisono. So there you have it, Masataka Morizono, the translator for the team. Big party for you, Yahoshima, tonight. If you're in Astana, well, you know where to be. It's a beautiful city here. Be out on the town and look for the Japanese players on the dance floor or at the table, partying it up. Masataka Morizono with the English from his time in the European leagues. He's been there playing in Germany. But stick around, we've got more matches coming up for you. We'll be back at five o'clock local time Little chance for a meal break as the fans get some autographs. And you'll have a chance to watch the women's doubles final, excuse me, women's singles final with Chun Meng and Zhu Yuling. Following that, Dmitry Ovdrov versus Fan Zhen Dong, the rematch from Germany not too long ago. We'll see you at 5 o'clock local time. You're watching the Seamaster 2017 ITTF World Tour Grand Finals.